That's My Biz is sponsored by Visita Live Site and Constant Contact. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of That's My Biz. I'm Pamela Alexander, your host, and as always, you know, we are so excited to bring to you the wonderful businesses, nonprofits, and associations that we meet when we're out there networking, and we always aim to please. We want to remind you that you can watch this episode again at www.bizlinks.tv. You can also check us out on our social media properties. Always find us at BizLinks TV. Don't forget the YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can stay up to date on uh, episodes at as we release them. So I'm going to dive right in. We have a fantastic guest with us today, Mr. Roland Reesberg. Welcome. Welcome. How are Thank you? you? Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, he's affectionately known as Raleigh. So uh, we are going to call him that uh, throughout the episode so you're not confused. Um, but we met him at a networking event, and he is the owner of Financial Growth Services, um, also LCR Real Estate Planning LLC. So he has a wealth of information when it comes to finance, um, but he has a lot of other great information uh, that we want to share. A well rounded gentleman. He's also an author of several books, and he's also also founder of a fantastic foundation that we're going to talk about. So Raleigh, I'm going to start with you sharing just a touch of your story because he has a fantastic love story. Um, unfortunately, he lost his wife to cancer back in 2013. But um, from that, he has just risen uh, from that experience. So please tell everyone a little bit about that. Well, uh, I, I stayed busy. I've been staying busy writing Christian books and uh, helping others who are hurting and in need of p people problems in their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now tell us, tell us experience. I know, again, in the book that your wife started with, that she started writing, and then you took it on from there. Um, but just give us a little bit of touch of, of that experience, because I know that was really the catalyst for what you're doing today. Well, she, uh, two years before she died, God asked her to write a book about her life, which she titled God Bless the Moon and God Blessed Me. Mm -hmm. And God rescued her from her suffering, her, from her colorectal cancer. She mm -hmm. battled cancer for five years, mm -hmm. and God rescued her and brought her home. Mm -hmm. And he, God asked me to finish her book for him and her. Okay. And she titled her book God Bless the Moon and God Bless Me. Right. It's a great love story about how Delta Airlines, how God used Delta Airlines to to bring her and I together. Wow, that is wonderful. And really, that is something you have, you have to get the book because it's just a wonderful love story, um, just a story of triumph, a story of uh, just spirituality and faith as well. So we want to make sure you get that. So out of that, then you start a foundation. Yes, I started a foundation four months after she uh, passed away mm -hmm. as a tribute to God and Jesus and her. Okay. And the foundation t uh, title is the Rollin G. and Loretta C. Reesberg Foundation. Okay, okay. And what's the website for that? Website is www.rglcreesbergfoundation.com. Fantastic. And everyone, of course, we'll, we'll give you that information as well uh, uh, on the show so that you'll be able to reach out and, and get that. So now let me ask you, since that time, once you finish the book, what have you been doing since then? I've been staying busy writing books okay, and helping other people who are hurting okay. in their lives from the loss of dear loved one mm -hmm. and helping them fix problems in their lives. Okay. Either and through our books and also through our businesses. Okay, and so I know with the businesses you have a big financial focus on with the businesses, especially financial growth services and even into the estate planning for that. So now, kind of tell me, how did you get into the financial side of things? Well, I got into to the financial side of things back like most people have in their younger years. Mm -hmm. They don't have them enough money. They got too more, too many bills coming in, mm -hmm. and not enough money coming in. So I always had an interest in financial services and financial planning. So I started the business in 1985 okay. to get extra income to support my family with. Okay. And also with that, I also decided to start the business to maybe so I could transfer inside of Delta Airlines into the financial uh, d division. Okay. I was a materials and process engineer for Delta, mm -hmm. but I uh, 
have always had a strong interest in finances. Okay. And so that's what led me to start my financial growth services business. Okay. Okay, I love that. Now, one of your <laughs> books, and one of his first books, Don't Sink, Swim to Success, Deep Lessons of Life. So this is one of the first books that you wrote. A lot of great information in here. Um, first, let's talk about some of the financial information. Well, actually, let me back up. First, tell me what prompted you to write this book. What prompted me to write this book is... Uh, uh, I won't go into details, but a family relationship problem mm -hmm. inside the family. Mm -hmm. uh, and it had to do with my dear wife's cancer. Okay. And uh, I wrote the book uh, to respond to that family relationship situation. Okay. And uh, the book title initially was Sink or Swim. Mm -hmm. And when I finished my dear Loretta's book, uh, For Her and God, uh, I what I wrote in it, I put in this book. Okay. Uh, and change the title to Don't Sink, Swim to Success. Okay, okay. But it's basically a, a witness book and uh, especially a financial book. Okay. Helping people with all the financial problems in their lives okay. that I learned through mm -hmm. being in the business. Mm -hmm. That's great, because you will find a lot of information in here. Again, don't sink, swim to success. Now, one thing that I've already picked up on, um, because we love to make sure that our audience uh, walks away with, with just some new knowledge. So one thing I picked up on, because you mentioned you wrote this book, and then your wife was writing her book, and then you finalized that book for her, but then you actually even repurposed some of that content in the second book and went back and redesigned this book and added some content here. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now tell us, because I know the first part of it, you talk a lot about finances. Um, but tell us some of the tips that you share in this book about the finances. Uh, the tips I share in the, uh, in that book about finances is uh, how to uh, how to get out of debt, how to uh, uh, increase your uh, your your financial your family's financial life, mm -hmm. uh, how to how to eliminate problems that are financial problems in your life, problems such as. Uh, uh, job loss or, or low pay mm -hmm. or uh, things that uh, can, can bring chaos to mm -hmm. a family's financial situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, I learned all these ways to help me in my financial situation for my family. Mm -hmm. And, all, and God told me to put it in on paper mm -hmm. to share it with others. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people are struggling today uh, with the economy, and even though things are, are picking up a bit for some, it's not picking up for everyone. Um, what are some of the tips that you can give our audience on what they can do to, uh, let's first say, get out of debt? Uh, first of all, you've got to, uh, I highly recommend uh, getting all the education and job training you can mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. and uh, get a college degree. Okay. I had in my family life, uh, my parents divorced when I was uh, four years old okay. and me and my two half-brothers spent many years going hungry. Okay. So going through that, I've been working ever since I was seven years wow. old. Wow. And, uh, I said, when I get grown, I'm going to get a college degree in something, even if it kills me. Okay. And thank God, uh, Delta Airlines and Loretta helped me get that degree. Okay. Okay. But you've, uh, you, you, you can't know enough about finances. Mm -hmm. But you need to uh, uh, learn ways to establish an emergency fund. Okay. Uh, uh, you get more money coming in than you got going out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, use all the resources in your life, the financial resources that God has given you. Okay. So some of the first things, uh, the education, as we always know, education is so important. So not just education, though, in your particular field or area of interest, but you're also saying take some time and get financially educated and take classes on how to really manage the resources that you have or how to grow your financial resources as well. Yes. What are some of the resources for getting, where, where do they start to get financial education? Uh, start for financial education, well, you start, uh, Dave Ramsey has classes mm -hmm. that you can yeah. take. I went to one of those, and I highly recommend his classes. Yeah. Uh, he and I have pretty much the same philosophies. Mm -hmm. uh, to stay, stay out of debt, build an emergency fund, mm -hmm. uh, get your money working harder for you. Okay. And uh, you utilize all the resources, uh, okay. the financial resources that you have in your life. Okay. And uh, try to take advantages of all the, uh, the blessings that God has given you and your family. Okay. And, and once you achieve financial independence, which is one of the top mm -hmm. goals, mm -hmm. uh, then you have money to help 
not only you and your family, but you can help others in need. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that, always giving back as well. And a great resource that he gave out also, Dave Ramsey. Look him up. He has great books. And, and for those that are more uh, techie, get online, go to YouTube. He has some fantastic videos and podcasts out there as well. Um, also, we want to make sure that you reach out to uh, Raleigh. So, Raleigh, before we take a quick commercial break, tell everyone how they can get in touch with you. You can get in touch with me through my Financial Growth Services uh, website, www.financialgrowthservices.com. You, know, you can call me with any problem or problems in your life. Um, again, my name is Raleigh Reesburg, and my phone number is 770-961-1599. And you can also email, email me at my Financial Growth Services email address, uh, fingrowserve at bellsouth.net. Fantastic. We'll make sure that you have that information as well. We are going to take a quick break but uh, to thank our sponsors, but when we come, come back, we're going to talk about some more resources that Raleigh has available for you. We'll be right back. See that woman? She's not just someone who can make a Cancun vacation tax deductible. She's a marketer. Sharon uses constant contact email to maintain and build relationships. She sends her clients professional newsletters. And she can see who opens and clicks on them, so she knows what's working. It's not just those fast fingers that keep Sharon's clients flocking back. Sharon's a marketer, and all it took was constant contact. Try it free. Visita provides a complete business calendar, fully integrated with your client scheduling experience. You can view and manage your daily schedule and any upcoming meetings, and most importantly, schedule new appointments and follow-ups with your clients. Using VC to Calendar for client scheduling will save you time and deliver a better service to your clients. VC to Calendar automatically syncs with your existing calendar on Google, Outlook, iPhone, and more. Welcome back, everyone. Again, we want to thank our sponsors, and we also want to thank you for continuing to watch That's My Biz, for continuing to support us and continuing to give us suggestions of the businesses that you would like to meet so that we can bring them on as well. Uh, for those that are interested in being a sponsor or being a guest, you can reach out to us at That's My Biz at bizlinks.tv. So before the break, we are having a fantastic time talking to our guest, Mr. Roland Reesberg, better known as Raleigh, and we've uh, really talked a lot about uh, some financial tips for you, but uh, at the beginning you heard us share about the, the loss of his wonderful wife, Ms. Loretta, at, in 2013 and how he's taken that um, experience and really turned it into something that can help everyone, not just himself. And so he's done that, one, through his books, and one of the books, Don't Sink, Don't Sink, Swim to Success, but then also he has another book that we want to make sure that we share with you, and it's talking about probate and the experience of probate, how to avoid the pain and suffering of probate. So in going through all of that, first of all, for those that may not have had to go through this at all, first explain what probate is. Probate is a process where it, whether you ha if you have a will in the family or no will, mm -hmm. you have to go through the probate process because the probate process uh, looks at the total family situation and they, they work on uh, establishing who the, the real heirs are mm -hmm. and making sure that this, the estate is settled in the proper way that it should be settled. Okay. Which can be very time consuming and okay. very costly. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Elvis Presley had a will but mm -hmm. no, no living trust. Okay. Uh, living trusts are very important. Okay. His estate, when he died, uh, the estate process ate up 73% of his estate. Wow. And, and uh, John Wayne, his estate process, probate process, took nine years to clear. Wow. So what I'm doing with this, uh, mm -hmm. with this new book that's coming out at the end of this month, okay. How to Avoid the Pain and Suffering of Probate, okay. I am putting in there real stories okay. about my life. Okay. And thank God Loretta and I had a living trust. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we set up our living trust in 1992, okay. and when she passed away in 2013, I didn't even have to speak to the probate court. Wow. No money lost, no time lost, no nothing. Okay. So if you want to avoid the pain and suffering of probate, 
You need to consider a living trust. Okay. Now, this is something, because a lot of people don't talk about this, this side of finances and until it's too late, usually, and then you find out all you need to know. But uh, having a resource like this is such a, a valuable thing to, to have in a book that really helps you understand what it is you need to, to know about probate, and but how to avoid it, which is even more important. So, now, tell me more of what kind of information, what's in the book? That, that someone can use to learn about avoiding probate? The book has uh, a lot of case histories, okay. dignitaries, uh, like I mentioned Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. It has uh, case histories about my life. Okay. Uh, when my father died, uh, when I was 40 years old, mm -hmm. uh, he didn't even have a will. He okay. had he and his my stepmother had everything, in the, and they had a lot of property in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. If you have property in Hawaii, you're millionaires. Okay. Automatically. Okay. And everything was left in joint tenancy with right of survivorship. Okay. And in joint tiling for accounts. Okay. okay. Now you mentioned uh, the living trust. Explain to everyone. We've kind of got a little idea what probate is, but explain to everyone what a living trust is. A, a living trust is a document that you and your is normally fought with the husband and, and wife. Okay. Uh, it's a document that you create. Living Trust started back in the 1700s in England okay. uh, because of probate problems in England. But a Living Trust is a document that you and your, or your spouse create. Mm -hmm. You both are the creators of the trust, mm -hmm. the guarantors. You both are the trustees, and you both are the, and the beneficiaries. Okay. And all the assets in the family are retitled mm -hmm. to the trust. Okay. Uh, no longer titled to a specific name. It's okay. it, the trust is ownership of the of the of the, all the assets okay. that are titled to the assets, and so there, therefore, when a death occurs, uh, there's no probate process okay. because it's strictly already preset okay. in in the name of the trust and, okay. and with the with the with the directions and instructions. Okay. To, to be followed per the trust. Okay, so then that supersedes what may be stated in a will. Yes, and also okay. I might point out, too, that there is also a will in a trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. But a living trust covers everything. Okay. So there's no guesswork. Okay. So the probate process doesn't even get in the loop. Okay, okay. Now, th this is interesting because there's a lot of drama that can happen in families when someone passes and you know not just from people that come out of the woodworks that are relatives that feel they have some stake or some claim um, but also just for someone maybe they don't have the type of relationship with a relative where their choice is to leave them something even if they feel they deserve it so this live in trust really helps uh, maintain their wishes and where they want their their things to go. The family stays in control there. Okay. No guesswork. Okay. And with my father's passing, my stepmother ended, ended up with everything. Okay. Uh, two days after my father died in 1978, uh, my stepmother and her daughter were busy moving all the assets over into the living trust that she had with her okay. first husband. Oh. And the, for a year there, I did not want to live right. my, mm -hmm. when my father died. Mm -hmm. I was praying for God to bring me home. Mm -hmm. okay. God had a lot of work for me to do okay. in my life for him and, and Loretta and my family and others. Absolutely, and you've been but, doing quite but, a bit. But uh, a year after my dad died, I pulled myself together with mm -hmm. my wife's help and my son's help and Sunday school teacher and, mm -hmm. and church people and mm -hmm. everything helping me through this. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, I con con contracted a group of attorneys in Hawaii and they told me what really happened. I okay. spent two thousand okay. dollars to pay them, and they they told me what really the situation was. Okay. And they also told me, says, well, you're an heir to the estate, okay. but it's going to cost you a lot of money mm -hmm. and a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And I, my wife and I didn't have a whole lot of money, and mm -hmm. and uh, we had a lot of time, but didn't have a whole lot of money right. back then. So we both agreed that. We just let it drop. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when my stepmother died, my stepsister ended up getting all the mm -hmm. assets. Wow, wow. And so many people and go through that. And there were millions that. and millions of dollars involved. Wow. So now then you mm -hmm. and your company helps people with creating the living trust? What I do is I am an independent contractor, okay. an independent uh, agent. Okay. Uh, I, I, I turn my people and clients, so mm -hmm. I try to help, to 
uh, two companies that I okay. uh, I, I direct uh, them to for okay. companies that specialize in living trusts. Okay. Okay. Uh, all I am is just an independent contractor, okay. an independent agent. Okay. And I, I do make money for for helping the client. Okay. Uh, uh, create the, the application and send it in okay. to the company. Okay, so then you help and guide them and give them the resources that they need. Help them move in the right direction. Right. Okay, I so now... i guidance. Okay, so now you have a term you call people problem engineers of life. So now explain to everyone, because we know this is going to grow uh, beyond just this interview, so people problem engineers of life. Tell me what that really means. People problem engineers of life. Uh, this is another way that God has helped me okay. in my life. <clears throat> I uh, signed on in writing these books. I had to get the most publicity I could get because my goal was to primarily get my dear Loretta's book mm -hmm. and a witness card in as many families in the whole wide world before God brings me home. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But uh, I tied in with a company, that a uh, large company that specializes in, in, in book publicity okay. and book sales. Mm -hmm. uh, the company actually helped uh, uh, Robert Kawasaki, mm -hmm. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, mm -hmm. author Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Mm -hmm. His company uh, made Rich Dad, Poor Dad mm -hmm. uh, rich and famous, okay. and, uh, as okay. he has uh, many others. Okay. But uh, that company was... Uh, was telling me that I need to start off small okay. and local, mm -hmm. and I was already doing that, so okay. I backed out. Okay. But one thing that God did teach me through working with this company mm -hmm. is uh, that I need to have a theme. Okay. And so I prayed about it, and God told me, he said, well, Raleigh, you're an engineer. Mm -hmm. And he okay. says, Raleigh, you're, uh, you're uh, writing books, mm -hmm. and you're trying to help people. Mm -hmm. So from that, I coined the phrase, with God's help, mm -hmm. that we are people problem engineers of life. Okay, okay, so people problem engineers of life. And with that, uh, tell me some of the, so we've talked about the financial side of things. Um, tell me, what are the other types of problems that, that you help people with? I help people with, uh, with uh, all kinds of problems in their life. Uh, whether it's uh, in one book that we wrote uh, came out in February, okay. uh, God asked me to, uh, I was having a terrible time mm -hmm. dealing with the loss of my precious wife, okay. and uh, a high school classmate of mine mm -hmm. uh, sent me an email. Uh, we were talking on the phone every, every other Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, I sent her an email and said that uh, her name is Pat. Okay. I says, uh, I'm having a, t a real tough time. Mm -hmm. Please pray for me more. Okay. And uh, uh, she emailed me back and says, Raleigh, I want you to know Loretta's happier now than she's ever been mm -hmm. because she's in heaven with God and Jesus mm -hmm. and her family. Mm -hmm. And I emailed her back and said, thank you. Okay. I've thought about this, but thanks to you, I'm dwelling on it. Okay. In 30 minutes there, I was sat at the computer crying and praying, crying and praying. God told me to write another book. Okay. He gave me the title of it, Life After Death. Mm -hmm. He gave me the title of eight of the 13 chapters. Okay. And the, the book title ended up being Life Before and After Death with God's Love. Okay. And it's all about people problems of life, mm -hmm. broken hearts from the loss of a dear loved one, okay. marital problems, uh, divorce, mm -hmm. uh, emergencies, catastrophes in people's mm -hmm. lives, financial problems, mm -hmm. Uh, you name it. Okay. And uh, and God is keeping me busy writing okay. books and helping others. Okay. I could not have made it without okay. staying so busy doing these things. Wonderful. And wonderful. I can't thank God enough. Well, we're glad that you were listening and that you, you took heed and you paid attention to follow his guidance. Mm -hmm. So we know you are one of the chief engineers, one of the chief people problem engineers. Who are some of the other engineers that you work with? The, the other people problem engineers... Uh, well, they are uh, co-authors with the with the book okay. Life Before and After Death with God's Love. Okay. They are me, okay. <laughs> and Pat Terry, okay. my high school friend, mm -hmm. and Don Crick. Okay. He and I worked the ramp together at Delta and Memphis, okay. and also Lisa Wishon. Okay. And between all of four of us, God has helped us resolve all the problems in our life, mm -hmm. and we have put it on paper with that book. Okay. 
We love it. We love it. So we want to make sure that you all get that book. We, we told you we always aim to please. We bring you some fantastic resources. And just in this compact episode, we've uh, already put out information about several, several different resources that you really want to tap into. We know there's something in this episode for any one of you all out there watching. So we want to make sure that you do tap into the resources that are pro provided to you today. One, of course, you want to make sure that you check out the book, God Bless, Bless the Moon and God Bless Me. Uh, fantastic fantastic love story. Make sure that you get Don't Sink, Swim to Success. Great information when we're talking about financials, finances, but it also has some, some other uh, family information that's really interesting in this book as well. So you want to make sure you check that out. Wonderful book on probate and then also the book that we just mentioned as well. So you want to make sure that you check all this out. Raleigh, tell everyone one more time how they get in touch with you so that they can reach out to you regardless of what the problem is. We know either you can help them or you have a resource for them. So how can they reach out to you? We are here for you. We, any any problem of life you have, mm -hmm. please confer with us on it. We will be either I can help you, or one of my people, problem engineers of life, can help you, mm -hmm. or our uh, team of professionals, mm -hmm. people can help you. Mm -hmm. And and you can contact me. At my phone number is seven seven zero nine six one one five nine nine, and my. Financial Growth Services, Financial Services website is www.financialgrowthservices.com and my f financial email address is fingrowserve at bellsouth.net. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ralph. We appreciate you coming out. You're welcome. Absolutely, absolutely. Everyone, make sure that you watch this episode again. Share it with your family and friends. Uh, again, a wealth of information, not just business, but for you personally as well. Um, in any, any struggles that you may have, share this with someone that you know who may also be struggling. You can watch it again at www.bizlinks.tv. Also, make sure you check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash bizlinkstv. Give us some likes out there. Make sure that you share uh, the information. And then also go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash BizLinks TV. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can stay up to date on episodes as they are released. And also give us some comments and your feedback for our guests as well as let us know um, some other guests that you would love for us to have on the episode. Remember, I'm Pamela Alexander with BizLinks TV Network, exposing your business to the world. <laughs>